Hi everyone, so uh, welcome to uh, yet another Telk Mine, but this is probably the largest and most interesting one we saw. Um, this is uh, quite extensive, got lots of different levels, uh, and there's bins and all kinds of cool stuff on the outside. And the inside, the timbering is really impressive and all that. We, uh, we went up there the one day and uh, our camera wasn't working, uh, but we explored the mine anyhow, and we planned to come back and film it the next day. Then we realized, hey, we got a GoPro, so we... <laughs> Uh, jumped back in it with the GoPro and filmed it. So um, lots of really cool drone footage in this one also. Um, quite spectacular to see the contrast with the talc and, and the other stuff in the mine. So um, yeah, we'll just uh, show you the intro here. Sharon's got some really awesome pictures she's going to share with us. And we'll show you a little bit more drone footage. And then we'll hop in the mine and we'll show you all the stuff that we found in the mine. Uh, surprisingly enough, there was uh, quite a few artifacts in this. Even though it was uh, cabled off and stuff, uh, they blocked it off to tourists. But, um, I don't know, somebody uh, did some work on it and we were able to get in there, even though it was blocked off. So, there you go. We'll show you this one. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. These are some bins just inside the main portal, probably for pipe fittings and stuff for the airlines and whatnot. Maybe parts for the drills, the jack legs. Uh, so, um, yeah, but pretty extensive mine. And it's interesting thing about talc is because talc is very soft. You see a very extensive timbering. So the timbering is really kind of cool to see. So um, here's a manway here and uh, a bunch of ore chutes going up and down. This is an interesting formation of some... Uh, talc there and you say the stuff's pretty crumbly in lots of places that you see it coming down it's uh, interesting to see that so uh this is a cardboard uh um explosive boxes union carbide uh tins we saw quite a few uh, uh carbide tins which is uh, surprising uh you know because in canada they're always really rusty um yeah this is an interesting ore chute set up there where they filled ore carts by throwing them down into a little hole there and uh, and also you know the um the work on the outside we've got some really cool drone footage to show you the rest of it um lots of really extensive work on the outside with the track and the ore bins the most fascinating thing about death valley is the fact that you know everything's so dry and well preserved there so yeah we probably got some of the more interesting drone footage that we've seen here in a lot of the mines that are in there so we're seeing quite a few at us from the drone, which made it really handy to kind of figure out which ones we can get into and which ones we couldn't. Uh, like I said, the main hall level uh, um, was was cabled off, but somebody uh, cut the cable or whatever. We were able to get in there, and some of the other ones, they, they were blocked off, so we weren't able to get into all of them. But, uh, you know, you can see it from the inside. Um, another interesting thing about talc is when you're underground, it reflects the light very well, so it's easy to film it with a small amount of light. Um, Quite amazing, actually, just how much uh, uh, track there was out on outside. I, I'm not really sure, but couldn't really understand how it all kind of worked with the bins and whatnot, because you see quite a bit of this stuff has been collapsed. But as you can see, there's a big track coming down there. So obviously, they had the open pit there for um, quite a few years after they did the underground. So that kind of destroyed a lot of the infrastructure. You can see the whole top of the hill here. There's Sharon. She's standing up there. She hiked up to the top there to see what we can find. Um, we flew the drone and stuff around the top, but we didn't see any adits or anything at the top. So I think it was just part of a later operation where they did an open pit at the very top of the mountain. But um, yeah, it's a pretty big uh, chunk there, but maybe it's possible that much of this stuff caved in, but uh, we weren't able to get in to any other areas up at the top. So pretty spectacular uh, um, scenery in this area. Um, I really enjoyed kind of um, hiking around there and driving around this area of death valley there's uh some uh there was an old uh, saratoga springs i believe it was close by there um and there was it was kind of interesting there we went through there it was all abandoned some old buildings and stuff not far from this mine um 
we were almost all the way to this mine and all of a sudden there's a sign there that said that no off-road vehicles were allowed um, or it, they had to be street legal is what it was I guess so we weren't really sure if our uh, our ATV was street legal or not because it had a plane on it so I don't know they could be a little more clear on this stuff I guess but um, I guess luckily we never got caught <laughs> uh, and then we know this is the last time we ever took our uh, our side by side into Death Valley so then you can see the deposit here, big long vein that they were following, the talc going, it's quite predominant. Interesting looking uh, rock formations in this, in the area. We're uh, not very far off the highway. It's actually not too difficult to get to here. It's probably about uh, a half hour or so um, off of the highway. Um, pretty tough, you can get in there with a pickup, but uh, kind of tough to get in there with uh, anything, anything else other than a Jeep really. So we still have quite a bit of video to show you that we shot last winter in uh, California and Nevada and stuff in the Death Valley and different places. And we're going to keep editing them and showing them to you over the summer. But we're also very busy working on our old mine, uh, the, uh, the Yankee Boy. So we're going to be showing you updates and stuff of what's going on in the Yankee Boy. So it's really exciting building our new museum and getting that all set up for visitors. But... Uh, so uh, we probably won't be doing much more exploring. We got quite a bit more video that we shot. We were down in the States uh, for two months and we were filming pretty much every day. We barely ever take a day off. We we're pretty busy doing all this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys are, are enjoying, um, you know, both uh, the videos and stuff that we shot down in the States and also our progress in uh, the Yankee Boy mine. And, um, uh, you know, eventually I guess we're, we're probably going to retire from doing a lot more exploring and uh, just be looking after the museum and doing all this work in the in the Yankee Boy and setting it up uh, for tours and whatnot. So hopefully, I mean, you guys can come and visit us uh, one of these days and uh, and uh, really see what it's like to go into an abandoned mine. Um, you know, most of these uh, abandoned mines, uh, you know, very few people ever get in, go into them because with the rope work, um, it's pretty treacherous and whatnot. So we're uh, we're very excited about. Uh, building a mine that you know the average person could go into safely with their family and uh, see all the cool stuff that we've seen uh, we've been in many hundreds of mines over the last seven years and uh, we have a huge extensive uh, collection of artifacts that uh, we've got from underground and also people have donated uh, to us and uh, we've also purchased a lot of stuff uh, on ebay and different things so um, it'd be interesting uh, really interesting for you guys to come to see us one day so all right, so uh, we're going to hop uh, uh, off of this drone here and we're going to um, put on the GoPro camera and we're going to show you the Morehouse mine. So um, this is one of the most interesting talc mines we've ever been to, uh, quite extensive. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the drone work. In this case, it was really ha handy having the drone, but just not possible to really to see where to go and where all the addits are without the drone. So um, the trouble is... Uh, you know, in Death Valley, you're not really supposed to take a drone in there. We didn't really realize that till we were back there. So uh, our apologies, but I think maybe the main reason is because it just annoys uh, pack, uh, park visitors to have uh, people flying their drones around. But um, we didn't see anyone and we're in very remote areas. So I don't think we've really uh, stepped on any toes there. So, all right. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll put the drone away and we'll grab the camera and we will show you the Morehouse Mine. We're going to wander in here and have a quick look at this. All right, so this is a talc mine. I think the last talc mine we're going to be in. This is the biggest one in this whole area. There you go, see? And um, the cool thing about this one is it's got all this neat stuff outside. That was the biggest one in here. So there's all the, um, you know, there's her tools and stuff. There's kind of like a little bolts and nuts and bolts and odds and ends they would have had in here. Um, Anything in, hiding behind there? No. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, this is in Death Valley, and it's kind of funny. Like, we did all the research to get here, and all of a sudden you're almost here, and there's a sign that says, No off road vehicles, which makes no sense because the road was too crappy for my pickup. Um, or it says street legal vehicles only. So I think, well, is my side by side street legal or not? I don't know the craziest freaking rules here, so. So you can drive your pickup up this road, but not um, an off-road vehicle. I don't know. So in Nevada, I can drive uh, my off-road vehicle right downtown in the towns and stuff, just not on the major highways. <laughs> um, California, who knows? I don't know. Uh, well, that's not very nice. Um, 
Okay. Okay, where we go? This, uh, this is something I hadn't seen before. This chain thing. Kind of interesting. Huh. Doesn't seem like it'd be very hard to get past. Oh, somebody's already kind of broken it away there. So, all right. So stick to the right hand rule. And uh, looks lots of awesome timbering in here. Being a talc mine, it needs to be very well timbered. Or you have a lot of collapses. This looked like a little explosive room in here. Yeah. And uh, so the track is still in here. Nice shape. They did a good job on the timbering and the lagging and everything in here. And uh, there's a bunch. There's a there's another level above us. We're gonna get to right up there. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll explore these ones first. Uh, I don't remember this going too far. Just ended right there. Um, I don't know. We should maybe try going a little slower. But all right. So that was collapsed in there. It didn't go anywhere. Uh, the talc's pretty soft, so. You're seeing a lot of this. The other thing that's cool about it, it's really slippery. It's almost like graphite, you know? Neat stuff. Okay. So we're filming this with a GoPro. And interesting, we got a pretty expensive camera we'd normally use that I um, just didn't bring here on this little trip here. Uh, Jeff Williams, that's all these GoPros all the time. So, and you know, does some pretty good stuff with them. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should quit buying $2,000 cameras and use the GoPro. The bad thing about the GoPro is we don't have the best sound on this one. There's a mod you can get that gives you a better sound. And the other thing is the, you need lots of light. We've got lots of lights, so we just have all our lights on real bright. The GoPro needs a lot more light than my camera does. So, All right, so we're going up this raise here. And you would think these levels connect, but they don't. It's kind of strange. Because we go up and then we go back down. And uh, there's an ore dump down here. Going down here. Just an ore pass there. Um, we carry on down here. There's a spot where you can see daylight here. 313B. Very nicely done. The timbering is nice in here. I love it. Did a good job in here. And there's the, uh, there, see there's a slide here. You can look up here and you can see daylight up here. And you can get up there, but then there's also, it's all chained off. It's got that webbing up there also. It's like fishing, you know? When you're in a boat, you always want to go as close as you can to shore. When you're on the shore, you always want to cast out as far as you can. Yeah, so lots of carbide graffiti in here was kind of neat. And we keep traveling back in here. And there's also some pretty cool artifacts in here, which is a bit of a surprise. And I would think maybe that is an old carbide lamp, uh, carbide can of car carbide. So there's the talc breaking off, caving off the sides there. And we have another, okay, we're gonna head down there in a moment. And we'll show you this other worksheet that goes up to another level here. Uh, it just seemed to be like a stope in here. I don't think it goes very far up there. We didn't go up there, but we could. Yeah, let's go up there. Maybe something cool up there, you never know. Yeah. Especially, you know, you really get to appreciate timbering when you're building your own mine. Yeah, it's just a stope in here. Very well supported. But that's all it is. Oh. Hard to believe they put this much timbering into this stope. But that's what they did. All right. Okay. So here's a nice uh, carbide can. Not sure why it's so black. Got old oil in it or something. But it's a Union Carbide can. Hmm. Okay. Now, here's an antifreeze 
container and they use that in the drills and stuff to keep them from freezing up. So that can even happen in these warm temperatures that you have problems with the drills freezing up the principle of refrigeration. So there we go. So we're going to continue on the right hand branch and there's one branch. We're not going to take it to the very end because there's nothing really there. It just goes for like a long, long ways and it just ends. So we will save you that long trip. More of an exploratory thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, lots of cool stuff to show you. There's another, um, just a stope, a soft area in there. Don't recall where that goes. I might have to go up that way. I think that's where that hoist is maybe. All right, so we got our airlines here. So you can see, they could tap into the air there. This is fairly old because they don't have the Victrol fittings. It's all threaded. And so we know we're going into the mine because it branches out that way, right? So they're always the cars coming out are always not going to do that, right? So see where the track splits there? This is called a kick switch. So you can actually go along there and just kick the rail to go from one to the other. So that would make the car go to the right or the left. Now we don't see that in very many places, but uh, that's what it is. There's quite a few of them in this mine. All right, so here's another timbered sections. Lots of cool timbered sections and lots of branches in here. Um, I believe that was collapsed. I went in there a little ways and didn't go anywhere. Um, I'm carrying on here. There's a uh, Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. This is a Trojan. Oh yeah, there's some graffiti there. It's actually graffiti. A Trojan explosives. Trojan Powder Company, San Francisco. All right, now this tunnel, I believe, I gotta check, but I think it just goes back into nothing. So we can save ourselves a long walk to see nothing. Yeah, that just goes back. It's more like a fishing expedition. Oh, there's another carbide can. Hmm. All right. It's unusual in Canada to see carbide cans that nice a shape because they're fairly thin material. So they rust quickly, but it's so dry in here that they are pretty well preserved. I haven't used carbide for a long time. Oh yeah, this is just a, just a stoked out section that's all collapsed in here. Spent a lot of uh, money making a square set here so they can mine further up, but it's all, all collapsed. All right. And we're not going to hike up there. Okay, so we're sticking to the right. Nothing there anyhow. Okay, here we go. Back down the hall level here, the Moore House. And we think this is going to be the last talc mine we're going to show you. And I believe this was the most interesting one. Um, I don't know, talc mines are kind of special. Uh, not really exciting. <laughs> All right. Um, but I was glad to actually get to see some talc mines. We'll go up this ladder and they're going to show you this. That didn't go anywhere. We can go up there anyhow. Uh, this was kind of cool. There we go. There's a small area that they mined out here and they had a, uh, a hoist. It seems kind of strange. The hoist usually brings ore up, so I'm not sure why there would be a hoist here in this circumstance. And we'll show it to you anyhow. Hoist and a skip, so you can tell the ore came from down there. And it's all totally collapsed now. And what I wanted to show you is that. So there's an antifreeze thing, there's a nice little 
a cool little uh, wheel there where the cable went down for the hoist and they would have had a little motor in here and then there's also this goes down there so we could hop down there but I'm not sure why we would need to mind you we could Just thinking, I hope we can get back up there. If this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, and there's a good chance it's not going to go anywhere. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that wasn't good. Well, maybe it's going to go somewhere. Huh. Here we are, we're right back at this block thing where we were. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's just a bit of a shortcut here. <laughs> and now we got to go back up where we went down. There's so. Uh, think well we can go up this ladder we'll show you oh yeah I was going to show you that we've seen that before so this is just a little they take a wheelbarrow or something like that and they just roll their carts underneath there and they just dump through that hole so that's kind of a way they do these ore shoots kind of an interesting ore shoot style I guess the ore just come down here and then they just shovel it down that hole or use the wheelbarrow it must be dustier now you drink that delk? Pretty nasty stuff, I would imagine. We've seen some in some old mines, they had some old respirators, but they're not really common. But they are, they do have them around. I don't have my pack on today, so. We've got everything on our, stuck on our, um, in our pockets, all our spare batteries and all that kind of stuff today because you know, that big vest that I got is just too hot in these mines. So we can move a lot faster without a pack and all this stuff and then we just put all the stuff in our pockets we need. So try to travel as light as possible. Okay. Alright, so we're back. We were here. We just jumped down this ladder real quick. And we'll show you the rest of the main hall level. For the first time you go into mine, it seems pretty extensive. Sharon's kind of wondering, which way did we come? Second time you come in here, it's pretty easy. Okay. Now, the lever should be right up here. Here's the dump. Down the ladders we go. Look at his split. Sharon went with me all through this the first time. And then she said, well, I can just wait for you. You can move faster without me, which is true. <laughs> this is pretty fast, right? <sighs> yeah. You guys aren't getting dizzy. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Okay, to the right. Now we've got another branch we can show you here, and then we'll be out of the Morehouse mine. Yeah. They do have some ore shoots. Okay, that's where we came in. There's one more branch to the right we're going to show you. And then we've done the five minute tour, 10, 15 minute tour, whatever it is. Yeah. Another cool section of. Um, Timbering in here, Boyson paints. Um, yeah. Well, it looks like it goes up a fair ways up there. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. Let's, uh, this ends up here. 
Yeah. You know, she says keep up, but there's no reason to keep out really, but there's no reason to go in either. Um let's just have a look. It looks like maybe there's some pretty extensive um timbering. What are we seeing up there? Um yeah, maybe. I wonder if they would have had a better way of getting up there. Let's see, we should have had a ladder here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well, ladder or no ladder, we can get up there. Yeah, there you go. No, oh, sure, nice not having that big camera. Oh, look around. Kind of liking this GoPro idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nothing that crazy. Just, uh, they are certainly held her all up. We didn't want any more to fall down. Nice work on the timbering. Huh. Really nice. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like that is pretty much all we can show you. We'll zip back out of the Moore house and we're gonna head uh, back down the trail. Um, we're heading towards a place called Shoshone. Uh, and then we're not really sure where we're going from there. We'll get some more supplies and stuff and uh, we'll get on our, continue on our trek through Death Valley. We're not sure where we're gonna go. There's so many cool places to go in Death Valley. Um, we don't know how we're gonna get to them all. I guess we're not. Um, maybe a multi-year project. It's a cool, cool, very cool place. And uh, really nice in the wintertime. Today was 31 degrees Celsius. So when I lived up in Fort St. John in the northern part of Canada, in the summertime, 31 is about as 30, 31 would be about as hot as it would ever get. And here we are in the middle of winter in Death Valley. And uh, yeah, we had the same temperatures at 31 degrees. <laughs> All right, so it's still light out and we've made her all the way through the mine. So there's the door. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all about all we could show you from the Morehouse mine. And I would say probably the coolest part of this mine is going to be on the outside. I'm going to just go for a quick little walk around there. We showed you a little bit on the GoPro. so. They had this big slide going up there, which was pretty cool. This was kind of a, you know, the inside, the timbering looks really neat and uh, seems to be, a, you know, top-notch timbering. But um, some of the stuff that they've done here on the outside seems a little bit wacky to me, but um, it kind of reminds us a little bit of the, um, yeah. Well, so they had a bin there. So they didn't want to dump any more waste rock in there. But they might as well. I mean, they might as well just have filled that right up. Brought the rail all the way out and put a bin in there somewhere. Instead, they built this uh, this crazy uh, um, I don't know, railway that went around the corner and then dumped all that waste rock there, which wasn't even a heck of a lot of waste rock. So why wouldn't they just filled up? They could have made those all level, just filled this whole thing right up. Seems to have made more sense, I don't know. Whatever. They did what they did. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. We've seen some old pictures back in the 50s that look quite a bit different, but, um, you know, basically, walk out there without falling on us. Might be kind of pushing it. <laughs> yeah, the drone footage kind of showed you how that worked up there, but yeah, there's a number of levels um, but uh, Sharon went up to the top and apparently that uh, there's nothing else that we can really get into. It's collapsed, but um, we don't see a lot of levels higher than we've been. Maybe a couple little pockets and some test stuff and whatnot, but that would be about it for the Morehouse mine. So we'll see you down the road next week from another awesome location. Hello, Sharon. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by The Addits. <laughs>